This screencast will detail how to model different types of process piping in Aspen Plus software. We will study how different schedule numbers and nominal diameters affect the pressure drop in a pipe. To begin, create a new simulation with English units. Enter the process component water. Next, go to the setup folder on the menu tree and specify the valid phases as liquid only. Choose steam tables as the property method. Run the property analysis and proceed to the simulation environment. This simulation is going to model several different piping scenarios. On the Manipulators tab, create a duplicator block. On the Pressure Changers tab, create four pipes. Create a feed stream to the duplicator and all pipes, as well as outlet streams from the pipes. Label everything appropriately. Press the green next arrow to specify the feed conditions. The feed enters at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 PSI with a mass flow rate of 10,000 kilograms per hour. There is no information to enter for the duplicator. Press the green next arrow to enter information about the pipes. All the pipes will have a length of 30 meters. Additionally, we are going to use the pipe schedules to specify the diameter. Aspen first asks for the material of construction. Note that the material of construction does not affect the pressure drop in the pipe. Rather, the decision is made for economic and corrosivity reasons. Stainless steel is more expensive because it has corrosion resistance. Since we are only working with water in our simulation, we will choose carbon steel as the material for each pipe. For pipe 1, specify the schedule as 40 and the nominal diameter as 1 inch. For pipe 2, specify the schedule as 40 and the nominal diameter as 3 inches. For pipe 3, specify the schedule as 80 and the nominal diameter as 1 inch. For pipe 4, specify the schedule as 80 and the nominal diameter as 3 inches. Run the simulation and go to the stream summary to see the pressure drops. All pipe inlets are at 80 PSI. Pipes 1 and 2 are Schedule 40 with nominal diameters of 1 and 3 inches respectively. Note how the outlet pressure increases as diameter increases. Another way to say this is that the pressure drop decreases as the diameter increases. Now look at the Schedule 80 pipes. Once more, the pressure drop decreases as the diameter increases. This makes sense because the larger diameter means there is less resistance to flow from friction and thus less pressure losses to friction. We can also see that the pressure drop increases as the schedule number is increased from 40 to 80. This also makes sense as a higher schedule number means a thicker pipe wall. For the same nominal diameter, the inner diameter will be smaller for a higher schedule number. This translates to a larger pressure drop. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to model a valve in Aspen Plus software. For further Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.